morning guys welcome back to another episode collecting scrap and salvage vehicles <clears throat> oh my throat wow you tell it's early uh, it is in fact five o'clock we are heading down to sandwich to pick up uh, four co-part vehicles co-part sandwich um, yeah it's about a four hour drive down there 180 miles uh, four cat bees which means uh, that they can't be put back on the road again so they've been bought by us to be stripped um, it is just gone five o'clock now we should be down there we've got a nine o'clock time slot so uh, booked in for nine o'clock should it means we've got to be there between nine and ten. Just gonna jump out and lock these gates up because it's still too early to leave them open. is good. Right, we can be on our way. Let's uh, get those lights off, get the night light on. So yeah, like I said, it should be about just over four hours. We'll get some fuel on the way. We are we're on 15% fuel, so we get fuel. Uh, we've got to go sort of M3, M25, uh, sandwich is all the way down near Dover, so it's a long old track. We've got one to pick up from Maidstone after that. Looks like from the paperwork it starts to drive, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, I did have a quick look on Google Maps, the location looks, location looks fine, should be able to get the truck in there okay. Right then, let's, uh, let's crack on and try and get a chunk of this driving out of the way. Get some fuel, get some cup of coffee, make our way down to Dover. Ah, oh, there's no fuel. Fuel on the other side, but my tank, it won't reach. Or will it reach? Will it reach? If I pull it through, will it reach? Thank you very much. Have a good day. Cheers, on you. Right, let's get back on the road. Next stop is go and get some coffee. Coffee. Morning. 
Nice one, thank you. Thank you. Let's hit the road again. You know what? I would say that, that truck in front has probably got no lights all down one side of his trailer. Oh man, this doesn't bode well. You know what I was saying about hopefully we don't get stuck in traffic. I was hoping this was like normal M25 or pre M25 traffic, but I just looked at the sat nav and we're 11 miles away from the M25. So uh, I think something's gone wrong. So someone's, someone's broken something. Someone doesn't know how to drive again. Ah. Uh, it's half past seven. It is the busiest time of the morning though, so, or kind of, so. Maybe it's just heavy traffic, maybe someone's, maybe someone's had an oopsie. I don't know. We'll find out, I'm sure. Well, I've worked out what it was. It was a lane closure, so not as bad. It's not the end of the world. Why are people still coming down? The, what are you doing? Good job there was room for you there, wasn't it? Otherwise you could have had an argument with those cones. Plonker. Anyway, yeah, it looks like we're moving a bit quicker now. It was just because of this lane closure. I don't know why there's a lane closure. There's always lane closures. Okay, I spoke too soon. We are now seven miles away from the M25. I want to be that guy. I want to sleep. <laughs> so there is a high chance this can make us late, so I've been onto the office. Um, Tom Tom over there is saying 20 minutes and uh, they've had a look on the computer on the um, tracking thing in the office and uh, there has been an accident up ahead there are lanes closed so it's going to be slow it's going to make us late but we'll just push on oh no the traffic man has just pulled up and put his lights on and now it's all going to go wrong Oh, and I can see a red cross. There's a red cross, there's a lane closed. Ah, uh, why, why? Hello, transporter friend. Although you've got new cars, I do old cars. <laughs> That's my first 73 plates I've seen. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so we've still got lanes closed, but we are now moving again just when you think you get your hopes up and ah oh, we're all good again and then no yeah here we go look we're coming to it people are slowing down so looks like that car has collided with the barrier uh, I assume they were involved too then but they've been sensible enough yeah yeah, that one of those cars were hitting the side, but they were sensible enough to drive to that lay by. Obviously, the other person wasn't, and that's what caused all the holdups. We are finally off the M3, jumping onto the M25. Please, I beg of you, M25, please be kind to me. It's a 60 limit, traffic is moving. Moving? Mu <laughs> Well, we are round towards the A3 on the M25 and it's slow. It's very slow. This isn't helping us being late. Come on, people, move. <laughs> Why me? And so we are here, finally. 
uh, quarter past ten, so not the end of the world. Only a uh, a few minutes later, but we get ourselves parked up, and I've just had my taco reminder saying that I have. 15 minutes of driving time remaining. That's now 13 minutes of driving time remaining. So yeah, we'll get ourselves over here. I'm uh, gonna go and get our paperwork now. And uh, and then once we've got our paperwork, I'm gonna stick the tackle on brake because uh, we'll probably have a little bit of a wait before the cars come out. So. Right, that's it. Let's go and get our paperwork. Hi, uh, good morning, Charles Trents. I've got four to collect, I believe. So this has this waste consignment collected. Go sit back at the yard, wait for them to bring the cars out now. It's a 2012 Peugeot 207. This one in Nitro Breaker. This one is a Category S. So Category S means it's uh, been insurance assessed as uh, structural damage, but repairable. What's going on here? Got some some paint flaking. Uh, this one might actually start and drive. I'm going to take some pictures and then uh, we'll see if it'll start and drive. Right. I've got some keys. What mileage are we on? 14,600. No, that's until the next. There we go, 42,000 miles. Oh, she starts. So, despite a bit of a hit in the front, oh, it's going to drive as well. That means it's one that we can get up on the top. Over the top of the cab. Uh, we've got a little, a little one in there somewhere. Get in the hole. That'll do us. It is a uh, two thousand and thirteen. Hyundai i10. Big hit on the front again. Not sure why that makes it a cap B, but we shall never know. Don't think there's any other damage on it. Right, let's get some photos taken. Right, let's see if she's going to be a runner. She is. 75,000 miles. She's not a very happy runner, but she is a runner. Gonna get the forklift to load this one on. Then we'll put the little Peugeot underneath. I'm gonna winch the Peugeot on because I don't think it's gonna drive. Helps we have the handbrake on. Right, 
There we go, he's free to go now. Now you're getting to put the Peugeot just down there. Yeah, that'd be great. Cheers. So we've still got to photograph this one. And do all the bits and pieces. It's easier to winch this one on than it is. We're able to mess around. At least if we get him to put it up against the ramps, nice and easy to... Perfect, thank you very much. All right, let's just tighten this up. So this is car number four, which is a 2014 Peugeot 2008. Most of it don't look too bad till you go around the front. And then it's had quite a whack. The bonnet's still down. That drive shaft pulled out, so it definitely won't drive up. <laughs> We've got lots of gubbins and sharp bits we've got to be careful of. Doesn't look like it's got battery because it normally comes on when you open the door. I want to say battery, battery life I mean. No, there's no battery life. Right. It is an auto, it's in neutral, so Ugh. I'm going to get these up in the air, get them strapped, and then we'll winch the Persia one. We'll, uh, put the winch into neutral. We'll grab our chains. Whilst you look at my feet. Do I want to go? Yeah, I'm going to wrap one. Get both hands under that. Grab our winch remote. Put the winch back into engage. Oh, got a little bit of a sweat on. It's not even hot today. Straighten that wheel back up. Right, break off. Winchy, winchy, we go. What's that other wheel doing? Ah, no, he's right. He's just dragging up. Steering's turning by itself, so we're going to have to keep hold of that. God, it's gone heavy now. There we go, all loaded up, strapped down, ready to make our way over to our last one. Whew. It's warm again. All right, we have just finished off our break. We're over to pick up our last car now over in Meadstone. Uh, it's about an hour and 15 minutes away, about 50 miles, so. Yeah, going to head over there now. Did I say what it was? Ford Focus. It's a Ford Focus. Oh, we're kicking up a lot of dust behind us. Sorry, people. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Didn't quite realise how much dust was being kicked up from that. Never mind. Right then. Let's get on our way, get over there. Get this customer's car. Beep. <laughs> 
Hi, uh, it's Kevin calling from Charles Trent. I understand we're picking up your Ford Focus today. Okay. Excellent. Um, I just phoned to let you know that I should be with you around about an hour. Is that okay? Excellent. All right, then. I'll see you shortly. Thank you, Thank you very much. Bye-bye. We are just a, a couple of minutes now away from our next customer in Maidstone. And the sun's come out. It's a bit busy in Maidstone, though, so... Busy, busy, busy. I think this is like a cul-de-sac road, so I think I'm just going to end up reversing, reversing up it until we get to the car, if there's room, because it drives, so if I don't, if it's too tight, I'll just leave, leave the truck on the road. Oh, it's not quite that warm, Mush. <laughs> Oh, mind you saying that, my dash is saying 24 degrees, so because I'm in an air conditioned cab, it probably is a bit warm out there. Mind you, that, that fellow's got his coat on, so. Go <laughs> on, get the right. Get the right gear. Okay, looks like I might be able to drive down there. There's a lot of the roads off of it, so yeah, I don't, don't think I need to reverse down here. All right. Looking out for a Ford Focus. Lots of cars parked on the side of the road, which isn't isn't great. Ah, there we go. Turn around to this T junction. I should be able to get out of here now. Just go straight until our back ends past the car. There we go. And then I'm going to reverse up that. Does it drive? It does, but the oil light comes off. Right, okay, that's fine. Right, uh, check the mileage 72. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. No, I'm okay, I've got a coffee in the truck. Perfect. So this is our 2013 Ford Focus. It is a Cat U, so it's uh, uncategorized. It means it's not a cat N, it's not a cat S, it's not a cat. It's not a cat nothing. <laughs> um, it's got a bit of an engine fold, a bit of a rattle, engine oil light on, so yes, it's an uncategorized salvage vehicle. Last one for the day. Just got to pull back to the yard now. Right, that is us on our way. It is currently a quarter to two. 
sat nav is saying three and a half hours back to the yard 140 miles so that puts us about five o'clock not bad 12 hours it's about about normal <coughs> not that i really mind it's uh it's about 11 hours of sitting on my backside and an hour of working out the truck <laughs> not exactly uh, what I call work it's uh, sitting down and enjoying the drive <laughs> if you're going to person that enjoys driving you'll never work another day in your life doing this job that's what it feels like anyway uh, I just want to give a massive, massive shout out to all you fantastic people who watch my videos and all you guys that comment, share and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, it's free, it doesn't cost you anything, but it tells YouTube that my channel's good. Well, it tells, it tells YouTube that it's okay and people don't mind watching it, so please, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Half past five, we got caught in a few traffic jams and some weather, but apart from that, it was all good. I have to be quick getting these off because the forklift drivers finished at six, 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 six o'clock. So we're going to whip these off. Whoever that is can get out my way. What's the matter, Jimbo? <laughs> you can go home if you want, I don't need you. <laughs> He's moaning. Moaning because I'm back late. She goes, and he's got it. All yours. Here we go. That is me done now. Suspension off, PTO off, suspension up, or suspension off. <laughs> All that's left for me to do is park up. We managed to get the truck unloaded, which is good because we're off to Bristol tomorrow. So unloading tomorrow morning would have been a disaster because it meant we wouldn't have been able to get away very quickly. Um, so yeah, that's good. Uh, right, so yeah, um, all that's left for me to do is to park the truck up, get my gear out and go home. So, thank you very much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe for plenty more just like this, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Love you, bye!